Howdy, Andrew here. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the mass percents of lithium, carbon, and oxygen in lithium carbonate. I've created a nice little table to help us out. First step is going to be to find the total mass, and then we can find those percentages easy as 3.14. Bam. So the first step is to write the elements we see in the compound. So we've got lithium, carbon, and oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see a subscript at the bottom of the element, just put in a 1, because that's what it is assumed to be. So 2, 1, and 3. Easy enough. Then we're going to multiply each of those number of atoms by the mass of the element. These masses are found on the periodic table. So the mass of lithium is 6.94, carbon is 12.01, nitrogen is 14.01. So let's write that on in. So this is 6.94, carbon was 12.0, let me make the two a little neater, right? 12.01, and this is 14.01. Then we're going to multiply this row on across to find the total mass of the element. All right, so this is 13.88 for lithium, carbon is going to be 12.01, and oxygen here is going to be 48. What the? 14, what? 48, there you go. All right. That's what happens when your brain, that's what it looks like when your brain short circuits. When we add these all together now, that's how we find the total mass of the entire compound. All right, so the total mass here is going to be 73, 73.89. And there you have it, right? That's the total mass of the compound. Now that's what we had to do first. Now we can find the percents of each of these elements. And it's going to be easy as pie. I'm going to add in a column to the table to help us out. Bam. So to find the mass percent of the percent composition of lithium, what we're going to do is we're going to take the total mass of the lithium, the 13... 13.88 units of mass divided by then the total amount of the entire compound, 73.89. Hence why we had to find the total mass first. All right, then we're going to multiply it by 100. And that's a simple percent calculation, part over whole times 100. And the percentage here will work out to be roughly 18.78 uh, or so percent. All right, and that's all there is to it. Now we're going to do the same thing for carbon, right? We're going to take the total mass of that carbon there right here. We're always looking at this column to do this particular step. Then divide it by the total mass of the compound, 73.89, multiply that by 100, and it's simply going to be 16.25%. All right, very good. And then last but not least, oxygen, we're going to take the 48, forget the zeros, 73.89. Might be important for sig fig calculations, but you know, I don't really care about sig figs. 64, your professor might when they take off 17 points for missing one sig fig, but you know, what are you going to do? So that's 0.96, right? And that's all there is to it. By the way, if you need help with sig figs, check out our channel. I got a whole video out there for you on it. And there you go, 100%. By the way, this is what I want for you on your next test, a 100. Check out our channel. We got thousands and thousands of videos out there to help you specifically through your class, all right? We're constantly updating, constantly adding assets for you guys. We're in the process of creating a lot of things, all right? So subscribe, stay up to date, and we'd love to help you with more. Take care.